Hello everybody, and uh, if you can't tell, this is a real life video, this is my home, uh, that's me, the mouse cursor, haha, <laughs> right, you know what, you're playing some house flipper, uh, I got a bit of a problem with house flipper though, first off, your music's a bit too obnoxiously loud and uplifting, so uh, if you don't know what house flipper is, it's a fun little game that lets you buy and renovate houses and, you know, flip them on the housing market, but uh, if, like myself, you think that's a bit too, uh, capitalistic, uh, yeah, that's right guys, just wanna give a give a little bit of a house tour today uh, you see uh, this is where I live right here uh, you might think well how'd you get it how'd you get in the uh, the damn place if uh, you can't get past the front door so uh, you know once I've, uh, I've, I've broken through the window uh, welcome to the den guys it's usually not this messy you want to know the best feature huh but you think this place didn't have working lights look at that not sure I got a piss stain on the ceiling though. Uh, ISP, you live in squalor. Your cabinets don't even work. Well, look at this. Eh? Works just fine. But you guys don't have to sit there judging me and how I live, all right? You don't need to do that. Instead, what we're gonna do today? Oh, jeez, I got 30k in the bank. Right, uh, time to get to work. All right, first off, gotta help out Sarah Lewis because ex-boyfriend stole the radiator from my house. Um, bit awkward to email me after our breakup, Sarah. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go fix this woman's uh, radiator, and uh, it's nice to see that uh, some people are living normally. All right, so yeah, we've also got to give the place a little bit of a clean, apparently, you know? I mean, I don't know you know, where to really start, obviously, but uh, I guess I'll start the trash bags and stuff like that, you know? It's not usually considered normal to have those in the living room. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm too much of a perfectionist. I can't walk into a house like this and not fix the glaring issues with it. All right, so I know you only call me around to do a bit of cleaning and fix your radiator, but instead, I've gone ahead and turned your living room into a more sleeping room. I've turned this spare room over here that you no longer needed use for into a kitchen. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? And you may be wondering, well, where do I go ahead and do my living? Now I don't have a living room. Well, welcome to the bathroom. That'll be money, please. I just got paid. Got to make my, uh, my first adjustments to the place. There we go. Hmm. Actually... You know what this is missing? There you go. It's a picture of Thanos with a fedora on. So I got a job to clean this man's garage, and, uh... Huh. Uh, I also have access to uh, this guy's entire house, which is... Uh, God. I, I hate it when that happens. There you go. It's always customary to give the, uh, the customers a little bit extra for their money. <sighs> I wasn't being paid to do this. Uh, um, I mean, you know, Susie, I was really happy with what he did to the, the garage, but why did he fill it up with tiny wooden balls? I think he might be a little bit crazy. Uh, so I need to turn this guy's spare room into a newborn baby's room. Uh, pastel pink. Really? That's the color we're going for? Pastel pink? As you know, we, we got everything uh, you wanted done. We got the uh, the furniture, the pink walls, and uh, unfortunately we did run out of pink paint pretty quickly. So we did have to do one red, and we also ran out of red. But um, don't worry, I also added what you wanted, which is uh, the Stalin wall. No? Uh. I'm kind of starting to worry about my character, considering, you know, I've walked in, I've got an axe, a chainsaw, and a sledgehammer on a plate. I think I might be a bit mental. Uh, anyway, that's definitely a job well done if I do say so myself. Look at that, it used to be... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna do a couple more jobs just so we can get some more money, and then we're gonna buy a house, and we're gonna make that bad boy... ...profitable? Oh, man. They should, uh, they should have not have given me this tool. I'm a genius. I've created the open floor bathroom. Now, obviously, you might be thinking, like, this be a bit of a, you know, a privacy invasive type of deal, but no. The door's still there. So technically, you're breaking the rules if you're peeping in. Hey, Thanos, stop peeping. Ah, uh, I don't want to be the judge of how people are living. But how exactly did you do this to your bed? What is that? Is that chocolate gravy or something else? Who would, uh, 
Who'd think that my life would turn out to be me cleaning make-believe bathrooms to entertain my audience of, uh, children? Ah, uh, just kidding. You guys aren't children. You're just as much a masochist as I am for watching me do this! No, I'm not one to judge someone, alright? I can understand spilling your KFC delicious gravy all over your bed in anticipation to eat it and put it in your mouth. But, um, how'd you miss the cockroaches? How'd you miss that? I share the fact that I am clearly a man with many issues, but somehow I don't have to put any protective tarp down when I paint, and I don't spill a drop of it anywhere. That's right, ladies. If uh, you want yourself a man that can uh, not drop uh, a single bit of KFC gravy while he's eating it in bed, well, I'm the man for you. There you go. Go, job done, and before you leave, you always want to make sure to leave at least a couple windows open so you can break back in later and steal the furniture. Uh, this is a apparently supposed to be a mirror. Now, I don't know if it's trying to tell me something about my soul right now, but uh, I definitely don't think I'm that corrupt. But I did tactically place it straight across from the toilet. So you can look at yourself being a champion. Uh, oh, a second. Does that say bunker? Bunker! Oh my god. Okay, mate. Well, first off, definitely looks like it's been uh, taken care of very well. Oh my god. Those jars full of 2D pickles. All right, mate, so you might be wondering why I gotta charge you 10k for the work I've done, and that's because I found a spectacle of the modern age right here. That's right, you got a door that can phase through shelving! 10 grand, please. Right, so after going out of my way to vandalize people's properties and having them pay me to do it, I have 55 grand in the bank to go ahead and start doing some flipping. Uh, now we only have three properties to actually pick from in our price range right now, and I think we're gonna go for the biggest one, which would be the abandoned house. All right, I, uh, I would go for the one that's a little bit cheaper for the same size, but, it has been set on fire. You know, I just, it's been set on fire. Right, so I bought the house that was set on fire. Jokes on them though, really, because they went ahead and left their sofa before, behind and uh, nothing wrong with it. $12 right there for that bad boy. I don't wanna say I'm potentially brain damaged, but I am sweeping the ceiling to make it better. Maybe I was in this fire and breathed in some of those uh, fumes. So uh, obviously first thing I did was knock out the door, switch out all the lights, and by switch out I mean, well there are no lights. I sold them for money. What else have I, what, what else have I done? I painted this room white and immediately regretted it. I don't really feel like that fits our theme. And then I came to the bathroom. I painted it all red, including the floor. There you go. Don't need a mirror. Why do you need a mirror when you have pictures of stuff? There you go. You also know that when you sit down on that toilet, you're not just crapping for yourself, you're crapping for the motherland, comrade. It just hit me that I actually have to sell this house to someone, don't I? Uh-oh. At what point do you sit there and think to yourself, is this too much red? Oh, so, uh, Mr. ISP, exactly what are the selling points uh, on your house that you've, you've gone ahead and put on our market today? Um, uh, well, you see, it's incredibly red. Everything is red. Imagine you live next door to this house and your new neighbor has moved in and you see him painting the entire thing red. Right, you know, I think we spent a lot of time on this and I have made it the perfect home for anybody looking for a nice, cheap, affordable house that is uh, now available on the market. I do want to add, wing, 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 wing. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour, okay? It's still called the burnt house and the burnt house and the, the part left, but we'll, we'll change that. We'll, we'll make that a little more pretty on the market scheme, but you're... You go ahead, you walk in the front door, and you're greeted to a luxurious space, uh... That's Karl Marx. That's right, it's a very open plan living room, where the door does technically, if you go in from the outside, clip into the sofa, but if anything, that's an impressive feature that'll just add a little bit to the value later on in life. Next we have the living room, specifically where you'll be spending most of your days watching some entertainment on the... Massive TV that comes complimentary with the house, and if you're a 
you're not enjoying it that much, then I also left that gun there for you to just take yourself out with. Moving on into the dining area, which is conveniently uh, right next to the entertainment area, you've got yourself a nice shrine of the most important socialist to ever live in our world. It's a great little place, and they've also got some complimentary candles down here to light up, and, uh... Oh, I probably shouldn't put candles in a house that's already set on fire. I, 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 <clears throat> sorry, I almost forgot to uh, change the uh, the tiling there. The kitchen you have already seen uh, in a, in a way it was it was red before, and it's uh, God, it's so goddamn red. Uh, albeit a very basic kitchen, it does come with this cool Chinese-inspired fridge, um, a sink, an oven. Well, I'll leave on. This house is going to burn down again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah interesting part is it's so goddamn red. It's going to take everyone like a few hours to figure out it's even on fire because it's so... It just blends in. Uh, also, yeah, you're right. That is a Christmas tree. And it does come with the house. It's a deal. Uh, obviously, right next to the kitchen is the house's luxurious bathroom, which uh, has been showcased before. you got a nice shower, a great toilet, interesting views, and uh, all around it's a toilet, all right? Yeah, yeah. You can't ask for much today. It's like... You also sometimes can't get out of it because the oven's in the way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Jeez. Okay. Oh, I've left the oven on. I've left the oven on and I can't get out to turn it off. If you ever find yourself in dire need of getting out of the uh, the bathroom, just hop on the uh, the turned on oven, burn your feet a little bit and uh, you're fine. Easy peasy. Now onto the last room of the house, the most important room, the room that's going to give you the best rest in the entire world. And we kind of... Uh, this is where I kind of limited the budget, actually, because we ran out of red paint, and I, I bought this giant heart bed. You're going to bring back the lasses or the lads every single day! Um, also, or, or if you don't bring anyone back, it's just, uh, it's, it's like a giant dark bed, really, uh, and you're a filthy animal, so you deserve it. Right, it's perfect, and it's ready to go on the market, and we're going to put it on the market, and it's going to make us millions, absolutely Pagajillions. 18,000 profit. Wait, huh? Oh, there's only 18,000 profit. Perfect one and only one bedroom. It's great that there's a bathroom in this house. Well, yet yeah, most houses do come with them nowadays, Jantart family. Uh, I need a separate office. Really, Dolan Trusk? Who do you think you're doing the business deals with in there, eh? Huh? It's a crack house. It used to be on fire. Jimmy, tra chicks like expensive. Ha Did you not see the heart bed? The giant plasma screen TV, Jimmy. Oh man, I, I, I mean, like selling to Veronica would be really good. All right, but like uh, Giorgio, Shauna, Shanua, a large bedroom, how sweet this guy is the man. We clearly want to sell this place too. I don't understand what I need this kitchen for. Neither do I. You don't need to eat when you're bringing back hot honeys every night to your giant heart bed. It, it was it was the first house that we sold. All right, it's not perfect. It's far from it, but we did make a nice 20k profit on it. Not really busting the housing market though. I I got to say, but maybe our next house will be the one. You know, I've never been too good at guessing what's in my presents at Christmas. Um I always try to like look at the boxes and what uh, what they kind of look like on the outside try and figure out what it is, but for the life of me, I can't wrap my head around what this one might be. What is that? <sighs> right, well, uh, after our hard day of, uh, you know, building houses, cleaning houses, most importantly, um... Well, just putting this flag everywhere along with pictures of Stalin. I I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and call it for today. Uh, but I think I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do a bit more house flipping. Uh, as long as you guys obviously want to see more house flipping, which I really hope you do. It's a really fun game. Uh, I don't even realize I've spent hours in this game. <laughs> you know, oh god, yeah, I I've already been in here for 45 minutes. Okay, well, uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe button down below. Especially if you want to see more house flipper Rooney. Uh, just see how much fun we can have in this game, or, uh, if you want to see any other games, feel free to leave a recommendation down below! Uh, until next time, though, guys, uh, just think, what would Thanos do if he was a communist?